today we're going to take the 88 highway that just reopened from Apache Junction all the way up to Roosevelt Lake. Yes, it just reopened, Apache Trail. Apache Trail? Apache Trail, okay. right? So. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the Bronco knows where it's going, not me. <laughs> all right, so... Today, take, take five. Take five. Today, we're going to take Highway 88 Apache Trail all the way from Apache Junction to Tortilla to Flats. Tortilla Flats. And dirt roads dirt to roads. Uh, Roosevelt Lake. Yeah. Should be a fun trip. That wasn't so difficult. <laughs> Historic State Route 88 Apache Trail was designated in 1927 as one of Arizona's 10 original state highways. It runs from U.S. Route 60 in Apache Junction through the beautiful desert terrain to State Route 188 near Roosevelt Dam. In 1904, it originated as a wagon road to help in the construction of Roosevelt Dam. In 2019, it was estimated over 200 cars use this route daily. That same year, a catastrophic flood damaged the road, causing a five-mile closure between mileposts 222 and 227. Now, after being closed for five years, the five-mile, $4 million unpaved section of State Route 88 from Fish Creek Vista at mile 222 to milepost 227 near Revis Trailhead Road was reopened. We began our trek by stopping at the historic town of Tortilla Flat. Tortilla Flat is the oldest operating stagecoach town in Arizona. Our first stop was the Superstition Saloon, where real saddles serve as bar stools. Patrons can enjoy being served up a cold drink of a tall prickly pear lemonade or sarsaparilla. You'll see their unique wallpaper is made from real dollar bills from visitors all around the world. We made our way down the boardwalk to stop by the Little Red Schoolhouse Museum at the end of the town. It's been completely remodeled and contains a lot of interesting history. There's a gift shop that has souvenirs including t-shirts, hoodies, and hats. They have an old-fashioned country store where you can enjoy their world-famous prickly pear gelato and homemade fudge. Here's a fun fact. One of the signs in town says Population 6, and they say that's the actual number of residents. As we leave Tortilla Flats, the paved road soon ends, and we see this warning sign advising the road is only open to ATVs and four-wheel drive vehicles. Having said that, as we were driving, I was really surprised at how smooth the gravel road was. Along the way there were beautiful lakes and viewpoints and we crossed several old bridges.
There were also intermittent stretches of road that were newly paved. In some places you can still see some stacked stone rock walls built on the hillside. They were built many years ago to shore up the road. I can't imagine how dangerous it would have been for those workers with several hundred feet of drop-offs below. We ended our trip at Roosevelt Dam, where there happened to be a helicopter working between the narrow walls of the canyon. It was pretty awesome to watch. ADOT is still trying to secure federal funding for other upgrades that would make the highway accessible to other types of vehicles and able to withstand the storms. Those upgrades are expected to cost $33.7 million. I'm thinking we just might have to come back again. Thanks for watching and take care.